So it's my pleasure to share some insights into the Triluminate one-year results. The Triluminate trial is a prospective multi-center single arm trial to demonstrate the safety and efficacy of the triclip device, the first commercially available edge-to-edge -edge transcatheter tricuspid valve repair system. But I think that the most that the two major findings of this one year result of the Triluminate trial is first, the fact that we see that the initial reduction in tricuspid regurgitation is well maintained when we see the changes between 30 days and one year. So this is very encouraging. We actually see even a greater proportion of patients with moderate or less tricuspid regurgitation. That's the, the the um, area we aimed for to have patients who have moderate, even less tricuspid regurgitation after the procedure. And then the second observation, and this is equally important, is the fact that the initial and acute symptomatic relief and improvement in symptoms we observe, that this is not only maintained, but we see a continuous improvement, especially for quality of life from 30 days to one year. I mean, so far, this is the most rigid, solid data we have in terms of one-year data. We have very little beyond. However, having said that, we do have um, a larger experience with compassionate use cases and also registries with a follow-up up to four years. And what we've learned from there is that those patients who have initially a good result, they seem to also have a very durable result, not only until one year, but two or three years follow up. And those are also the patients who are doing the best from a clinical point of view. So it seems like when the initial result is good, it seems to be very well maintained over time. And by the way, we've, we've made the same observation and we have the same experience from mitral clip implantation on the mitral valve. Well, when we performed this trial and when we started to do tricuspid valve interventions there was always a debate about right ventricular function and how right, right ventricular function might change um, after the procedure and um, what, we, what we've seen here and this for me is the most surprising finding is that right ventricular function does not get worse or anything it even improves over time we do have initially a reduction in right ventricular size and also right atrial size and this is well maintained over follow-up, but when it comes to right ventricular function, we do acutely, we acutely we see an improvement in function, and then a further improvement over time from 30 days to one year. This is a very positive signal, um, something we, we still haven't understood in full, but again, very encouraging, and um, something which um, um, implies that um, this should also have positive effects on heart outcomes in these trials and uh, these patients. And the other finding which we hoped for, I guess, but, but still was surprising is the fact or the, the implications for, for the rate of hospitalization. I mean, this trial was designed to, to prove safety and efficacy of um, this device to reduce tricuspid regurgitation. So the focus was not so much on hard clinical endpoints. However, having said that, we looked at the rate of hospitalization before the year before the intervention and then the year after the intervention. And what we've seen is a 40% reduction in hospitalizations in these patients for heart failure after the procedure. This is very positive um, outcome and proves that or suggests that when you safely and effectively reduce tricuspid regurgitation, you can actually um, impact on heart clinical endpoints. Well, first of all, it, it, it proves that what we've done before in compassionate use cases um, was reasonable to do and was the right thing to do because now we have solid data showing that it's safe and effective. It uh, shows that it is important to um, look at tricuspid regurgitation, not in a fashion where you have three grades, but five grades, because patients with torrential TR are different as compared to those with severe. And we also know that we see clinical improvements when we bring down um, um, grade five TR to a grade three TR. So that's something we implemented now 
in clinical practice already. And it also suggests that we should always aim for moderate or less tricuspid regurgitation. And the field is, is, is moving forward very, um, very quickly. It, it entered now clinical routine. We, we do have the first solid um, evidence for it, but this is just the beginning. There's more evidence to come from um, registries and very important, we will get, um, we will start the triluminal pivotal trial, started already in US and um, will also include European centers. And in this trial, the therapy is compared to optimal medical um, therapy, looking at hard clinical endpoints. And this will put the whole field of um, tricuspid valve interventions on very solid grounds.